In the realm of television, the path to success is often paved with uncertainties and tough decisions. One such decision has recently rocked the entertainment world as CBs announced the cancellation of So Help Me Todd after just two seasons. This move has left fans puzzled and eager for answers. Join us as we delve into the intricacies of this decision, exploring the factors that led to the demise of Todd and Margaret's adventures at their law firm. The inception of So Help Me Todd marked a promising chapter in Kibi's lineup. Starring Skylar Austin and Marsha Gay Haddon, the show introduced viewers to Todd, a character deemed a stain on his family's name, and his mother Margaret, who offers him a shot at redemption by hiring him at her law firm as a private investigator. Despite their differences, Todd and Margaret captivated audiences with their dynamic chemistry and comedic antics. As the first season unfolded, so helped me Todd garnered praise for its fresh premise and endearing characters. Viewers tuned in each week, eager to witness Todd and Margaret navigate the complexities of their professional and personal lives. The show's success seemed imminent, poised to secure its place among CBS's flagship programs. However, the tides began to turn in the show's sophomore season. Despite maintaining its charm and humor, so help me Todd faced stiff competition within CBS's lineup. While it maintained a loyal fan base, it struggled to outshine other programs in the network's roster. As ratings dipped and viewership plateaued, whispers of uncertainty began to swirl around the show's future. In the cutthroat world of television, ratings reign supreme. For so help me Todd, the latest Nielsen ratings painted a sobering picture. Placed 22nd among all non-sport broadcast programs, the show garnered an average of 6, 2 million viewers during its live airing. While these numbers were respectable, they fell short of the network's expectations for a flagship program. The decision to cancel So Help Me Todd was further solidified by its performance in the multi-platform arena. Despite a slight uptick in viewership when factoring in 35-day multi-platform numbers, the show failed to secure a significant foothold in the competitive landscape. With streaming platforms becoming increasingly influential, CBs weighed the potential of migrating the show to Paramount but ultimately decided against it, citing the need for a stronger fan base to justify such a move. As CBs bids farewell to So Help Me Todd, the network prepares to usher in a new wave of programming for the 2024-2024-2025 television season. With a packed schedule featuring both returning favorites and promising newcomers, CBS aims to maintain its stronghold in the ever-evolving landscape of broadcast television. Among the early renewals is Fire Country, hailed as broadcast television's top drama for the second consecutive year. The success of Tracker secures its return for a second season, while the FBI franchise expands with multiple renewals, including the flagship series and its spin-off. Additionally, fan-favorite shows like Elspeth and S. W. A. Nyao have been granted new leases on life, much to the delight of their dedicated fan bases. Behind every cancellation lies a complex web of factors and considerations. For so help me, Todd, the decision to pull plug was not taken lightly. Despite its undeniable charm and dedicated fan base, the show failed to carve out a distinct niche within KBS's lineup. In a statement addressing the cancellation, CB's executives cited the network's commitment to delivering top tier programming that resonates with viewers. While acknowledging the contributions of the cast and crew, they emphasized the need to make strategic decisions in the face of an increasingly competitive landscape. The cancellation of So Help Me Todd serves as a sobering reminder of the harsh realities of the television industry. Despite its best efforts, not every show can achieve the longevity and success it aspires to. However, amidst the disappointment lies an opportunity for growth and reflection. As Kibis charts its course for the future, it remains steadfast in its commitment to delivering captivating content that captivates audiences across the globe. While bidding farewell to beloved shows is never easy, it paves the way for new and exciting ventures that promise to capture the hearts and minds of viewers everywhere. Through the highs and lows, one thing remains certain. The show must go on. And with each new chapter comes the promise of endless possibilities, ensuring that the spirit of creativity and innovation continues to thrive in the world of television.